Welcome to Electron Online and now let's take a look at the difference between a sidereal month and a synodic month. Now the term of a month, the duration of a month, basically comes from the fact that it takes about a month for the moon to go around the earth once. It actually takes exactly 27.3 days and that's called a sidereal month. The time that it takes for the moon to make one trip around the earth so that it faces the exact same point directly relative to the stars and that's where the term side reel comes from. Side reel means relative to the stars. So the moon makes one complete trip around the earth in 27.3 days and so that's called a side reel month. But the phases of the moon go through a period of 29.5 days. In other words, when we have a new moon, and the new moon is where the moon is directly between the sun and the earth, that's called a new moon because we can't see it there, that's where the moon starts again on its cycle, called a new moon, and of course it goes through all its various phases as it goes around the earth, and when you get the next new moon, that takes 29.5 days. It takes 29.5 days for the moon to go from the new moon phase back to the next new moon phase. You say, well, wait a minute, why does it take 29.5 days for that when it only takes 27.3 days for the moon to go around the Earth once? Well, the reason is because while the moon is taking its trip around the Earth, the Earth is taking its trip around the sun. And in the time that it takes for the moon to go around the Earth once, the Earth will have moved to an angle of almost 30 degrees from where it was before. So when the moon gets back to the same position like right here, relative to the stars, and that's why these two lines are parallel here, you can see that the moon is not yet between the earth and the sun, so that it cannot yet be a new moon. And for the moon to get back to that position so it forms a correct line again between the sun, the moon and the earth like this, just like it did here, so that again the moon will be a new moon, that takes an additional 2.2 days for a total of 29.5 days for the moon to go all the way around and then some to get back in that same line position with the sun and the earth. So it actually travels more than 360 degrees in 29.5 days. That's called a synodic month because it's in sync with the motion of the earth and the sun and it, and it represents then the time it takes for the moon to go completely through all of its phases back to the beginning where it's a new moon again. So that's the difference between a synodic month and a side rail month. A side rail month is only the time that it takes for the moon to take a trip around the earth 360 degrees, but notice since the earth moves, it needs to travel an additional 2.2 days to be back in line. And that 29.5 day period is called the synodic month. And now you know the difference.